to the Dent Vibe with Diva Girl Ellie, powered in part by Studio E and Classic of Dent. Thanks for joining us here on the Denton Vibe with Diva Girl Ellie here at DentonRadio.com. We're here. It's dark. It's getting closer to Halloween. All the fun festivities are happening or starting to happen or have been happening. I don't know. True. <laughs> it's always spooky in October. I know, right? So uh, you guys be careful out there with all the you know Halloween hoopla going on. So today we have someone returning back to the Denton Vibe. How it is? I'm so glad to have you back. It's and good to be back. I know. It's so much fun to watch you working and and doing all kinds of stuff online and i was like okay you know you've got stuff going on you're like i'll come back yeah, let's no, do this definitely it's uh it's it's great teaming up with you and especially the Denton community it's been it's been good it, it's been very positive yeah you have been i can't remember the specific month you were on before um but it's been about i would say about a year yeah, almost a year yeah mm -hmm. and you have been non-stop busy i can't e we were just talking about it right now right. i was like you seem like you're just literally painting 24 7 you're doing all these time lapses you're doing photos you're posting right and i just admire all of the paintings that you're doing and i love your work you know i'm a fan because yeah, i'm always no, no, no. watching your stuff I appreciate it of course of course um you know, it's it's funny because uh, just like we also talked about right before we walked in, and I knew I had to save it for the interview, but, um, <laughs> you know, people are always like, oh, I love seeing people, you know, living there or pushing their careers in mm -hmm. art and stuff. And I said, oh, no, I have a full-time job. Yep. You know, uh, so if anyone needs help with IT, let me know. There but you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. It's a shameless plug. Um, but, no, I mean, working, working full-time and then also – pushing the art is definitely a challenge mm -hmm. but I do like to make a PSA to anyone who you know a lot of people they say oh well you know I'm really good at art but mm -hmm. you know what am I going to do with that mm -hmm. and you can you really you know in this day and age you really can do so much with it yes, especially with the internet yes so uh I tell everyone if you have something that you want to drive for go for it truly you know there's there is time to be created if there isn't you got to find a way to make it yeah. I think you personally. definitely do because if it's your passion and it brings you so much happiness you know you always hear those quotes or motivational things find where your mind wanders when you you know right. that's where your passion's at and mm -hmm. you, if you think about it what do you think about the most I'm pretty sure like me I'm always thinking about poetry I'm thinking about art I'm like what can I do to enhance whatever I do you know with the radio show and right all that stuff makes me happy so when you're an artist I'm pretty sure you could be at work doing your IT thing and you're like oh my god I have this wonderful idea oh, yeah you can you can ask my coworkers that you know if I'm if I'm not in a meeting of mm -hmm. some sort mm -hmm. I have my headphones in and I'm just listening to at least something you know if it's mm -hmm. not something that is just some good music that you know I'm feeling at that moment in time mm -hmm. maybe a podcast talking about how to grow business mm -hmm. or, you know, it, it truly just depends. And, you know, and especially now with Instagram and, and all these apps, everyone mm -hmm. has an app. Yep. Everyone makes, you know, I mean, something really is an yeah. app for everything, yeah. but you know, I schedule my posts and, you know, sometimes I schedule them days in advance, mm -hmm. you know, just to make sure that, you know, once, mm, you know, 11, 15 on Tuesday pops around, I just open my phone and hit go. Yeah, it sends it and then I continue through my day. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't I don't stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I like to be busy. So, um, you know, here we are. I've got, uh, you know, now I've I've got a solo show. Yes. Which is which is why you're here. Yeah, it's it's mind boggling. So uh, it's called A Stroll Through My Eyes. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be over with Cynthia and Sunita over at Studio E. Ooh, uh, my sponsor, Studio shout E. Out, shout, shout out to your to my sponsors. In no, your, I, your I love those women. I, you know, we we've worked together multiple times. Mm -hmm. I've live painted there. I've done multiple events mm -hmm. and they've just been they've been fun to work. That's with. how I met you. That exactly. Yeah. Yep. Uh, because if you haven't been to Studio E, the first thing you see is his bear painting that is literally right on in front of the reception, the reception area at Studio E. So that's my favorite piece, actually, of yours, the, the Thank bear. Thank you. Yeah. Which yeah. I've mentioned last show. But um, 
yeah, they have uh, they have that painting hanging there over the reception. And I was like, who did that? And they're like, oh, you got to meet him. I'm like, oh, okay. And we met and you were here right. not too long ago. Well, a year ago. A year time ago. Flies, time does fly. But um, you have live painted there. You've done shows before collaborating with other people. Mm -hmm. And then you are having this solo show, which is very exciting for any artist to right. have their and solo show. So how did this happen? Tell so me the process. So it's actually really funny because on one of your interviews, which mm -hmm actually included the girls from Studio E and mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Sunita who brought it up and she was like well you know for example if Hotties did a mm -hmm. solo show with us and I messaged her after that and I said why it's not you know what <laughs> let's let's see what mm -hmm. happens so we we basically just looked down at the months and they said well how long do you need and I said I have no idea yeah so um you know and here we are about five months from that decision mm -hmm. um we're almost there november 9th Yay. it's it's very close it's very nerve-wracking is it uh but at the same time in a very good way yeah um excitement right you know we have i think i have about 22 new pieces i was just gonna ask you how many pieces are you gonna be displaying so i have uh I'm going to be having 22 new pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be live painting a piece. Nice. Um, my friend Austin Asatera is mm -hmm. going to be DJing just some kind of groovy music, nothing Very too cool. wild. Um, and, it's going to be fun. Wow. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I am very proud thank of you. Thank you so much. No, that's... I, I know I know that's exciting. And just the fact that it's going to be, you know, it's one thing to collaborate. And that's always fun because you always make connections and you always have a good time meeting other artists that inspire you or that support and collaborate with you. Um, and you build those bridges. But when you have a solo show, it is very... The, the whole... I guess the whole feeling is shifted solely on you and you're so for lack of a better word, you're on this in the spotlight, which right. is very deserving. And on top of that, it's very humbling at the same time because you have built your family of, you know, fans. You right. really have. And they come out to support you. People purchase or if they're up for sale, they purchase right. your art, which is, you know, some some people may just want to display it. Others may want to sell it. So um, but it's very cool to be able to display your stuff i've never done it so mm -hmm. that's a goal maybe you know right. down the line why but not? yeah right why not exactly so it's just i'm excited for you because i can't even imagine i, I can imagine having one piece right. one or two pieces right. you know <laughs> okay sure i'll go paint something right, right but to have 22 pieces and they all look just as amazing and beautiful as this and your technique i was actually speaking to cynthia and suny about your technique and the style and mm -hmm. it's just it's not very common. I mean, it's beautiful. Thank and you. we're all fans of yours. And, and w you know, when you look at your paintings and you look at the way you paint and, you know, it's just it's just very it's very unique. And, you know, thank you. I mean, that that means a lot to hear. I um And, you know, when you talk about fans, I'm not famous by any means. I just uh, it's it's nice. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get, you know, a message from someone or someone will give me something positive mm -hmm. and kind of be like, hey, I see you working really hard. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, not that, you know, my my enjoyment and my motivation strictly comes from the fans, but mm -hmm. the people that do reach out, it, you know, it does it does mean a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, especially when they purchase it, too, that means that yeah. they they quite literally want to spend money yep. on something that I made with my hands there which you is go. which is literally with your hands it's right. not with the brush there's no there's no knife there's no brush there's no anything so like everything that you see here is strictly by hand uh and, and yeah yeah for those of you that don't know he does paint literally with his fingers so he doesn't use brushes and that's one of the unique things about you right. one of one of. <laughs> one of because there's other things that that obviously you know are brought into this and um so that's what's so amazing to me. And I know that lately y you had posted something about I'm really digging the clouds lately in the sky. Right. And I was like, oh, he does. He just has fun with it. And yeah. then you're like, look at me. I'm going to make this flower. I'm really liking this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, I would have made a mess out of that. <laughs> but you just it just comes out of nowhere it's, for you. It's, it really does. It's a mess. Uh, I like to tell people that my mind's chaotically organized mm -hmm. uh, and the colorblindness doesn't help. So. Oh, um, yes, there's there's right. that other yeah. uniqueness <laughs> in case y'all didn't know um, he is colorblind. And uh, a lot of people, they ask me if, if it's, you know, are you red green? Are you this or mm -hmm. that? And it's it's protonopia. So mm -hmm. in protonopia, my red cones mm -hmm. are 
basically messed up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, occasionally if the lighting hits it just right, mm -hmm. I can see red barely. Mm -hmm. My color spectrum is a little shifted. So mm -hmm. as much as I can't see red, sometimes it'll happen with blue and yellow and it'll just blend, you mm -hmm. know, green grass can look orange or, mm -hmm. you know, the sky pink can look blue. It's just flipped. So I incorporated that in my painting and thought, you know what, instead of me trying to make something look so real and normal and normal, mm -hmm. we take that, flip it, and I take you through a stroll through my eyes. Very cool. And that's, you know, that's bringing it full circle back to the show. That's the motivation behind it. You know, I, I recently spoke with uh, Caden Montgomery, which mm -hmm. if no one knows of him, he's a very talented artist that lived in Denton. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just moved to Dallas. And that's another thing I'm working on. Me and him are going to collaborate. Very cool. And see what happens. And, you know, the, the show is part of a celebration mm -hmm. uh because five months ago i decided to take everything personal off of instagram mm -hmm. and completely transform the art because if i want to push it the only way you can push it is if you commit to it mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so i took that and then with that being said people kept asking me they were like well do you have a website that i can send to my friend or i can mm -hmm. send to my coworker?" and i said no i have an etsy and i hate <laughs> etsy so <laughs> i did some digging, you know, looked through Squarespace, looked mm -hmm. through Wix and every other mm -hmm. website, posting website. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, now the really the show is going to celebrate launching a website as well. Very and that'll cool. be uh, that'll be live the day after the show. Very so cool. I kind of want the show to be a celebration mm -hmm. uh, and also kind of a sneak peek before anyone else gets to see it from the outside world. Mm -hmm. So anyone that shows up, they get to see the pieces first nice. in person at least. So can you give us a hint about what, what to expect in the pieces? I'm, I mean, obviously if they follow you, they may get a glimpse maybe. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, this is a glimpse of it obviously, but right. so there's 22 pieces. And yeah, there's, I'm a lot. Like, <laughs> there's 22 pieces guys. Y'all got to go see this. Exactly. So, um, some stuff to expect first off good music can't start off with bad music so you gotta no, no bad music. we're gonna have some smooth tunes nothing too wild as long as austin stays to the script <laughs> um past that uh really i have i have about seven miniatures that mm -hmm. i did which mm -hmm. those are all on instagram mm -hmm. uh i've actually done a couple uh time lapse videos of it mm -hmm. um one of them i think blew up to about 23,000 views out of nowhere. Wow. See, that's how Instagram is weird because you'll post something and then a month later I'll wake up and get like a blast almost. Okay. I don't know what you're and doing, it's, but it's working. It's so you may have to teach me. I don't me. know. I'm, I'm working <laughs> on it. And Hey, if you want to, if you want to learn, I'm more than happy to open my phone and show you what's, what's if going on If it involves over there. math, I'll never get it. It doesn't because okay. I'm terrible at math. I am too. I'm horrible at math. I think that is very common these <laughs> days. <laughs> I could do a lot of other things, but math is just, oh. Mm, it's a no-go. Yeah. Uh, that's why I have a calculator, right? Yeah. I don't even use a calculator anymore. I'm just <laughs> like, oh, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not It'll necessary. resolve itself. <laughs> right. And uh, no, I mean, so I have, I have seven miniatures and I have, you know, a couple... I think I have three of this size. I have three that are actually 36 by 48. So we're wow. talking massive pieces. Yeah. And um, with that, it'll be actually some of my studies that are at stu uh, they're at Sushi Cafe right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anyone wants another sneak peek, I have a couple of pieces over there right by Fry Street. Nice. But they will be gone on Sunday oh. because got to get ready for the show. Yeah. So... It's going to be exciting and, you know, the website's coming along and we'll be ready to go on the 10th as well. Okay. So aside from art on your website, are you going to sell merch? Oh, I have no idea. You I haven't even to. thought about merch. Because I, I don't know what it is. I love wearing people's art. I right. love a t-shirt with art on it. So if I can get a t-shirt with art on it, I'm going to buy it and I want to wear it. So. That's, a, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I have friends in Dallas that do it too. And mm -hmm. I like one of my friends, uh, Jody Fom, she does art and her art is very unique. She does a lot of uh, black and white with red okay. sketch type stuff. Mm -hmm. And she made necklaces and i'm like okay i have to get a necklace it was just very, yeah necklace you know scarf whatever but t-shirts are always great and they're right. very universal so i always want people to put their artwork on oh know. i do too there's a uh, katie katie mont is from denton mm -hmm. and i actually 
at Studio E, where there was a show, and I bought one of her T-shirts. Oh, nice. And then um, I think I'm also, actually, I'm ordering tonight from Tribes Clothing Group. Mm-hmm. I, I saw them there, too. Mm-hmm. So there's a yeah. lot of connection going on with the Studio exactly. E, my sponsor. Studio uh-huh. E. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. And I just, you know, like just like you said, you get to spread art. And I think if you if you take people that create art and mm-hmm. you push them up, mm-hmm. they'll push you up as well. Exactly. And I think that is just a mutual relationship among mm-hmm. artists and people who simply appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and really from there, I mean, it's all love. There's no... Yes, it is. There's no, there's no need for negativity, I no. guess you could say. No, everybody's got their challenges. We don't need any more by having any negativity come into the world of art. I mean, you know, to each is their own, but... You know, it's very it's very um, rewarding for you as an artist when even just I always say this it's as simple as sharing. Mm-hmm. Your, I mean, we heavily depend on social media. Right. So when someone shares something, mm-hmm. I mean, because it doesn't take but a second. Right. But they did it, and thank you. You don't mm-hmm. know how much that means to me when people share stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, versus oh, I like it. I mean, it, it, I appreciate it. But people don't it, but even do that. Yeah. It's you know, very hard I, to, to get a committed following. So the people that do commit and follow you, it means a lot. It really right. does. No, you're you're absolutely right. I mean, I have, I think I have about 3,000 followers now, mm-hmm. which is insane. That's great. Um, But with that being said, I sometimes only get maybe 60 likes mm-hmm. on a picture. Mm-hmm. Um, So, you know, when people, you're right, when people share or, you know, they comment, mm-hmm. you know, any type of interaction, there's something with the algorithm on social media yeah. that pushes you further up whatever food chain they have set for you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people really don't realize it that, you know, just that just that extra click or that yeah. extra comment really does go that far. Yes, it does. And not only that, it is people people may not realize that mm-hmm. those clicks add to the livelihood of your success as an artist. So we depend have I depend heavily on you know the the stuff that's going on um, on social media and you know what people share and what people comment on you know even even just following so you have a, you have right a, yeah I've got a couple people Aldo uh, which is awesome I, he had just texted me too he said it's almost on <laughs> um, and Raquel hello uh, it's hey Raquel I, yeah I cannot I cannot tell people how much it means for them you know even even this interview yeah. you know and I tell a couple of people hey I'm going on an interview I have a couple of my friends share it and a mm-hmm. couple of people are like hey man I'm waiting and I mean that just that you know it fills your heart yes it you know? does it, it it definitely helps give that extra push to go hey keep keep going yeah keep it helps it. It, it really fills my heart when my little sister comes on to support me there you go <laughs> like she's actually on here thank you Raquel I appreciate it that's awesome yeah no but uh so you know i have the show i've got the website and then another thing that's actually just randomly kind of popped up Mm -hmm. uh me and uh, hannah amazon art are teaming up to host our own show where at i saw that today so that's going to be at uh milpa oh uh, right off of 35 yeah george landeros yes exactly so i just uh just met him on sunday he's great he's a big supporter of denton and art yeah no he he is uh very he's a very cool guy Mm -hmm. uh and whenever i spoke with him uh me him and hannah all sat down Mm -hmm. talked about a few things they just renovated that whole space yes they did it looks cool i had no idea yeah they have a really nice denton mural going on over there so the the cantina Uh is where the show is going to be very nice very nice and at the moment we have about 17 artists total really oh yeah so you know, there's going to be margarita specials. Oh, there's going to be free food, which, I mean. Hello. Everyone loves a margarita. When is this again? Let me write this down. You so said the this magic is actually, word. <laughs> this is December 1st. Oh, man. That's right before my birthday. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, that's good. Okay, perfect. I'm going to party all month. There we go. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm going to write this down right now. December 1st. I'm honored. Okay. At La Milpa. Mm-hmm. What is that? A Friday uh, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell okay, you. Okay, whatever. To be completely honest. Art show. <laughs> 17 artists. Tell me a little bit about that. So, uh, Hannah Amazon Art is connected more than I am. Mm-hmm. And, you know, her and I got to talking and I noticed that she was very driven and was trying to make things move. Whereas you see some artists where they're like, I'm an artist, but they don't push it. Yeah. 
you know, and, and her and I, we, yeah, exactly. You know, you, you want to push, you want to move forward, you know, mm-hmm. growth, growth is the way up. Mm-hmm. Right. So we got to talking and, and we just kind of reached out and we were like, Hey, if we threw a show on, mm-hmm. would you be interested? And, you know, we have a couple artists from Dallas. Mm-hmm. We have a couple artists from Fort Worth mm-hmm. and we also have our nice little homegrown group, uh, here in Denton as well. So it's going to be a nice mixture. It's mm-hmm. a, it's going to be called, or it's not going to be called, it already is called, mm-hmm. uh, a mixture of mediums at Milpa. And it's already an event nice. on Facebook. Um, we'll be promoting it uh, now that the page is created. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's I just... I saw that today, actually. Mm-hmm. And I liked... I, I think like, I saw you got interested or something Yeah, on because it, right? I, one of the, the images that you had on there was, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I look at so much, I'm like, was that right. Brooke's image? Mm-hmm. Yes. She, okay. She's Loft one of, of my, ledgers. yes, Loft mm-hmm. of Ledgers, Brooke Knox. Uh, yes. She, she's one of my favorite artists too in Denton. So right. he, like you said, the little group, core group of, of artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, she has a very unique style as well. Definitely. Very, no, very I, unique. Very, very, um, what's the, what's the word what for it? What is the word for it? It's, it just seems almost archaic. Yeah, the almost, style, I don't want to say hieroglyphic, right? But it because it's not no, but, but it, it is. does remind you of that, and it's it's very classy as well. Yeah, That's very one much of so. The, and I I love her. I do love her. She's one of my favorite people in. She's Denton. great. We uh we were actually just at the Harvest House event mm-hmm. that Denton Gallery put yes, on, yes, and yes. that's another group that I need to definitely thank mm-hmm. uh, because without Denton Gallery, I would not have started this career at all. Nice. You know, it it was a it was a stumble upon. Hey, I paint with my hands. They said, what? I sent them pictures and then I went into a show two weeks later. Very cool. So, you know, it's like I said, it all revolves around other people helping Mm -hmm. other people, you know, and if that's just a like or a share or a view Mm -hmm. on an interview, Mm -hmm. why not? Heck yeah. And people also don't realize that I don't do commit that I do commissions. Oh, speaking of which. Uh huh. I heard you got a really nice commission coming up. I do. All I the way from? Canada. Yeah. All the way from Canada. There um, you go. Cynthia, Cynthia spoke with me and, and we talked about it and it's very meaningful also. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's currently in the works. I'm actually waiting for them to give me a little critique on the sketches so then that way I can edit wow, it. Wow, you've already started it. Oh, that's oh, really yeah. awesome. I, I, like to, I like to stay on things. Yeah. Um, I figure if you don't jump on them then, then you possibly could lose them, right? Mm-hmm. So um, with commissions, you know, some people are like, hey, could you pay my chihuahua? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe not. But <laughs> but if it's if it's something meaningful, if it's if it's something that you truly want to consider, because mm-hmm. I I pour myself into my paintings mm-hmm. and, you know, I want it to be meaningful mm-hmm. when that happens. Yeah, a part of you, a part of them. Exactly. Yeah. And they get to keep, that piece forever so mm-hmm. you know you don't want it to be something goofy yeah. you want it to be significant exactly so then that way when someone walks in they go i really like that painting mm-hmm. i like creating emotion out of people and you know sometimes they're like oh the clouds make me feel this way or mm-hmm. you know and and my parents my parents will randomly walk into my room and they'll come and check and mm-hmm. my mom will critique or my dad will be like you got to fix that and i'm like I, I didn't even see that okay you know, and they'll come check on maybe like two hours later mm-hmm. and the painting's done. Yeah. You know. How long does it take you to do a painting? Oh, uh, let's I, see. I haven't really noticed in time lapses because it goes so quick. Yeah, it's, a, it's, so, <laughs> it's deceiving. Yeah. Um, although it's not too deceiving. Mm-hmm. Uh, the miniatures, I think, maybe took me an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um. I work fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cool thing with oils is that I can just stack and continue yeah. to mix and stuff like that. And since I'm using my fingers, I also don't have to waste my time managing the brushes. Mm-hmm. So That's true. I get to Which take a, a paper towel, yeah. you know. <laughs> and it's true. You got to you know right, do the right. whole gotta, process it's like oh, and mix can and i just get new brushes each time <laughs> i mean that's why that's how i started i i started with paint brushes and i was already not a fan of painting at the time i was like i can't do this colors are terrible for me and uh took a bunch of you know free paint canvas and brushes and tried something and went mm. and i just kind of moved it and i went ooh, yeah that's cool i was just gonna ask you at what point did you literally 
you were just, just like, you know what? Painting. Yes, this this is me. Right. This is me. So I I was always terrified of painting, mm -hmm. uh, simply because of colors. Mm -hmm. uh, always drew, always mm -hmm. sketched. It was always black and white though. Mm -hmm. Anytime I would add a color pencil to it, ugh, demolished. Mm -hmm. Hated it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was simply because I would, you know, try and. I mean, ever since like elementary school, I would try and take color pencils and my ocean would be purple, <laughs> you know, or, or my trees would be red and, mm -hmm. you know, I'd have friends or not friends and they'd be like, that what's, looks terrible. What's like, going on with your, <laughs> with your <laughs> <Exactly>. artwork? <laughs> um, and now I took the, took the brushes and said, you know what, let's put these away. Mm -hmm. And, uh, just started kind of mixing the colors mm -hmm. that way. And it just made, it clicked. It just made sense that mm -hmm. way. Uh, why? No idea. But, I'm just going to ask why, because I know yeah. some people are very, they they have to feel, the, mm -hmm. you know, the connection. And I, w I would imagine that it feels different when you're obviously painting with your fingers, but then to see something be created literally mm -hmm. coming from the tips of right, your fingers, just kinda, it's just amazing to me. So, I yeah. mean, a brush is a brush, and we're, we're all used to that when we're painting or, or doing something. But some people are insane with them. I mean, uh, sometimes you see people paint with hyper-realism. I mean... Uh, yeah it's not gonna happen but you know with the uh, with oils and, and with doing the finger painting instead mm -hmm. I get to truly control just how lightly I tap the canvas mm -hmm. or, or you know or how hard I'm pressing into the canvas to make sure that all of that paint is going into the background so that way I can continue to stack it you know it's just learning the medium mm -hmm. and and I think I'm I'm at a point where I've learned it enough here's now the point to get a little more advanced with it. Yeah. Um, and that's part of what the show is also celebrating is that, you know, the five months of improvement because every day mm -hmm. I paint or sketch or create something every day. Mm -hmm. um, you have to keep the pace. Yeah. Well, you have been definitely <laughs> working really hard on these. And I know that some of, one of my other favorite pieces is the one of the girl in it would looks like the lake it's mm -hmm. like a vortex mm -hmm. she's standing i don't know if you have a title for it um i don't you don't but that one really really vibes with me it's there's just something about the symmetry in it there's just something about the perspective and just her uh, if you guys get a chance to see it definitely go look at it on his uh on his website or I'm sorry, Instagram and Facebook. Almost website. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's right. not going to be launched yet. Well, you got a lot of messages coming out. Let's, I do. Let me yeah, see what's no, going on I, here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All the way okay. back. Yes. There you Jojo, go. Jojo. I got Stephanie, Michael, Cynthia. God, y'all y'all are awesome. Y'all are making my day. This is great. Oh, that's cool. Um, Like I said, you know, and for example, you know, Michael, Michael, I haven't seen in person in mm -hmm. ages, but mm -hmm. it, it brings people together. I have uh, a good friend of mine named Damien, which I'm not sure if he's watching, but if he is, that'd be cool. Points um, for you, Damien, if you're watching. Right? Yeah. Brownie points. Um, mm -hmm. But I haven't seen him in maybe four years or something mm -hmm. similar. I mm -hmm. think we bumped into each other maybe two years ago, but mm -hmm. he's coming to the show. Oh, very cool. Um, so it's it's cool seeing who, who really wants to show. Yeah. And, you know, let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Well, okay, so what else do you have going on? Anything else? Any other events going on? So let's see. We we got the solo show. Mm -hmm. I've got the website launching. I've got the co-hosting of Mixture of Medias at Milpa. And we are also trying to, Hannah and I are trying to move a little into also Fort Worth and or Dallas. Okay. Um, no plans in concrete yet, mm -hmm. but just know that I might pop up in Dallas and a month or two. I have a lot of friends in Dallas that I would like to connect you to. So, and okay. they would definitely love your work. So Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. We can talk about that after the show, but so where do they go if they want to commission you or collaborate with you? Where so, you so the best way to contact me is through Instagram, uh, or on Facebook, okay. uh, on Facebook, they can message me on my personal because I still have one on there. Mm -hmm. The family still loves me. <laughs> so I have to keep in contact. There you go. But, um, but they can contact me through, uh, Haris Frati Art. Uh, it's all one nice block, nice mm -hmm. and simple, um, on Facebook. And then it's the same thing on Instagram, uh, Haris Frati Art, which is H-A-R-I-S-F-E-R-A-T-I mm -hmm. Art. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Um, if they, I encourage people, obviously if they have my phone number, they can call me or text me, but, uh, just a direct message that says, Hey, I want to collab. Hey, I want to, you know, maybe 
commission you? Mm-hmm. Can we talk about a concept? I'm open. I'm very or if easy you, to talk to. Or if you do another show where you're doing a collective of artists and they mm-hmm. want to be a part of your, your Oh, your yeah, show. no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we encourage people to do all of that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. The Anna, math part. Haley, thank you. Uriah, awesome. Everybody's watching tonight. This is, yeah, this is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's everything that I'm working on uh, as far as to announce. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, there's always stuff in the works. Yes. I, I'm trying my best to branch out organically, mm-hmm. do things right. Um, you know, the, the show, the website, the co-hosted show, mm-hmm. they're going to be cool. Yeah. And I mean, you know, if once those are ready come check them out you know and if you and if you do love the art message me and let's talk about maybe a piece there you go well you guys y'all have y'all have every every intention going out make sure you support him by clicking like sharing if you're going to go out to the show take pictures hashtag him definitely because all of that counts trust me and i am so glad to have you here again and you know the doors are always open for you here you know i'm a big fan of your your artwork and one day i will own a piece (laughs) oh absolutely we can talk about that too that's 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 easy yeah i would love to have a piece so we'll talk about a concept or something and, and make that happen but thank you so much for coming on here i am so excited for your shows coming up i know you're gonna do big things and your your art it just it just keeps getting better so i'm happy to have you here and thank you guys so much for joining us here on the denton vibe with diva girl ellie on dentonradio.com you guys have a lot of fun with the upcoming holidays coming up and thank you to my sponsors both of them and you guys will see you next week there we go thank you everyone bye Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out DentonRadio.com for new Denton artists and where they're playing next. While you're surfing the Internet, make sure you check out our friends Classic of Denton at ClassicofDenton.com.